Oh, we had a long discussion, the last 48 hours, you know, big discussions. And they're very reluctant to, to let me out the contract, you know. But I explained to them a lot of things, you know, and they understood. A lot of things have gone on in my life, so let's, let's move on, you know. Very few coaches in this country can stay with one team for six years. Yeah, and I'd like to think I would have been here for another six years, ten years, twelve years, fourteen years. We were building all the time and great, there's great structures, great plans in place at a football club like this. Whoever comes in is a great opportunity, great opportunity, you know, to win things and, and, and to, to have a great football club. So um, at the end of the day, I mean, I just, we all, you know, I felt that maybe the time is right, you know. <laughs> Huge, absolutely huge. I mean, um, you know, after we won the three league titles, as I said, you know, I was offered a, a job at a, at a very big club with a lot, a lot of money, and I didn't take it. I've never ever moved for money, like now. I'm not moving for money. I'm moving for football opportunities and football to win things. And, um, you know, wherever I've been, we've been successful. But in saying that, um, I didn't take that opportunity three years ago. And Supersport, you know, gave me another three year deal, I stayed. You know, they've offered me another three year contract. You know, so at the end of the day, it's more for me, it's about football opportunities, football projects, football, you know, building things. I think I don't want to work at clubs where, you know, they're not interested in building. Building for me is important. I mean, we've had six players in, on Saturday in the Cup final from a youth development. Six. There's no team in South Africa that can do that. So, plus you've got another one on the bench, so we had seven. Mm. Plus we have another one in the opposition team. <laughs> so, you know, I yeah, mean, yeah. That, that for me is, is important for me. Because I think, you know, if you know youth, no future. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I've always believed in young players and, you know, taking opportunities and, and luck. And I think the club's in, I'd like to think the club's in a healthy state. Wherever I've worked, Swallows, yeah, Seven Stars, which is AX today, built a legacy down there. Mm-hmm. You know, you know I'm, I'm not a mover. I don't like to move. You know, I played for Lenny for 14 years, longest serving player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, so I don't like to move. Mm-hmm. Um, so moving for me is very hard. Vits have always been a nice team. I think I'll change that. We won't become a nice team anymore. We'll be trying to become a winning team, a competing team. And that we'll, we'll see as the time goes on. You know, you don't want to make any promises. But uh, they've got a very good team, very good group of players, had a good finish to the season. But, you know, we need to close the gap. They made 44 points, other ones made 57. That's a lot of points difference. So how do we close the gap? That's, that'll be all things in the future. But I'll worry about that um, in the next couple of days. You know, I'm not going to do too much about that now. The same as any football club, you know, I think uh, it's a challenge. I mean, to work in football, to have sort of unbroken service like I've had in the PSL. What is it still then? I don't know what it is, PSL or NPSL or whatever it was called. I mean, I've... It's a ch- every season is a challenge, so I don't think anything... But I, I certainly need a bit of a break now, you know, and, and tackle tackle what I have to tackle the next day or two, thresh out a few things and then see. But today has been a bit of a blow, and, you know, we've had long discussions and uh, a lot of emotion involved, you know what I mean? A lot of emotion involved. We had penciled in to start pre-season on the 25th of June. Um, I wouldn't want to have less than a week or so. Um, with my new coach, you know, to prepare properly, preferably more, but it's complex because one or two guys are out the country. We still have to to meet with them. We still have to engage, uh, you know, people, and um, that's going to take a, some time. So we'd rather take a little bit more time and get the choice right than uh, you know than rush into something, uh, you know, because of a knee jerk reaction to today's announcement. So you know, obviously, there's been a lot of speculation around Gavin for the last few months and we would have been foolish not to um, you know have one eye you know on on the future in case Gavin's decision was the decision that he reached today so we've we've got our eye on on a few guys that we think have the credentials and um, the right ingredients as to what we're looking for at the football club if you look back over the past 12 years at the raw material of Pizza um, when he started uh, and from a development coach to an assistant coach to caretaker coach to head coach and very successful head coach um, to Gavin's uh, profile when he came in he had one trophy under his belt uh, very meritorious achievements with Hellenic and, and Black Leopards um, and at Swallows but um, I think the Gavin Hunt that's leaving Supersport 
is is is, is a different persona and and has created his own slice of of history as Pizzo did with his five consecutive domestic cup finals, and Gavin built on that with his three uh, uh, consecutive league championships. And we would want to be finding a coach who would want to build his own legacy. And you know, we all got to strive for for things, gold stars and and more trophies and stuff like that. So we, we, you know, obviously we would want to factor in. Uh, all those types of aspirations that we have as a football club find the right person with the right fit for us as a brand. Exactly, and that's why I'm saying first I need uh, the buy-in of my board as to which of the names on the shortlist they're happy or not happy with. You know, we can't start uh, uh, engaging somebody that my board has no uh, intention of, of progressing with. W once my chairman's given me um, the, the all-clear on, on the shortlist, uh, then I will uh, try and engage um, with the members that are on that shortlist to see are they available, um, are they interested, uh, is there scope for us to sit down and to talk and um, and when that happens then I will know more definitively exactly maybe the six names becomes four maybe an extra two names come from left field uh, we are we completely open about it um, what we are sure about is is our own direction our own path um, the value system that we've tried to instill as a club um, as Super Sports United as a Matsat Sansa brand of trendsetters with a certain uh, you know value propositions that we've tried to bring to the party and we've We've been exceptionally proud um, of, of, of giving Pizza a platform as a South African coach and we've been exceptionally proud of, of giving Gavin a platform as a South African coach. Okay. You know, so our, our brand has, has, has evolved now to a level where we also want to compete uh, on the continent and uh, you know so all those type of factors we need to we, we need to look at and see who's the right person to to deliver us what, what our what our goals are Kevin Johnson Steve Hombela and Smith and Dob are those some of the names uh, in the shortlist I'm not going to comment on any of the names um, at this stage I think it would be unfair because because we haven't engaged with the, the individuals, any individuals, and, and, and I haven't got buy-in from my chairman and my board. So until I've got that, I'm not going to mention any names, but the three coaches that you mentioned are very good coaches and uh, with lots of uh, credibility in their own rights um, and lots of good achievements. But I feel it would be unfair to talk about any individual coach. Um, there's, there's two coaches that we've had in mind that are outside of the country. I have to talk to my board and, and get their buy-in and once I've got that, I think it could be easier for me to say, you know, to narrow down things for you. At this stage, honestly, it's an open page, and uh, we, we, we're very open about who the next coach is going to be. There are coaches that are outside of the country that have, that have good track records in South Africa and out South Africa, um, and, you know, we're not going to limit the, the search. We, we, we want to find the right person. Uh, at that point, we, you know, we'll engage in that process of, of speaking to the individuals that we've earmarked and seeing whether they would be interested to come to Supersports and on what basis and so forth, find a common ground. And if we can do that, you know, then we would hope, uh, you know, certainly by, you know, maybe the end of next week to to make a, a new appointment. There are uh, contractual um, elements uh, which you know which are in his contract which are self-explanatory so um, you know he did have two years to go and we've reached agreement with Gavin on how that will be resolved so there's there, there are no issues there yeah. um, you know we've we part ways in a very amicable and good way I believe that Vitz have just put out a statement um, uh, you know confirming that Gavin will be that 